Sizzlon One Earth, the lead platinum corporate headquarters for Sizzlon Energy, is a phenomenal testimony to the highest standards in sustainability. Its development helped the company, a global leader in wind turbine design and manufacture, fulfill a commitment to minimize its carbon footprint. Spread over 10 acres, Suzlon One Earth's architectural vision integrates the sustainable lifestyle practices of a traditional Indian village with contemporary building systems for energy, water and indoor air. Our Indian village reflects in their life purely towards sustainability. Nothing in villages would get wasted. We were uh, you know, going through our uh, design philosophy and then into the architecture conceptualization. And on the other side, we started documenting all this information. That's where LEED comes into the picture, which allowed us to further get into a lot of details. And we could enhance them. Suzlon One Earth was conceived and implemented by Sinefra Infrastructures and its director, J.R. Tanti, an architect himself. During his formative years, Mr. Tanti's proximity to nature led him to view our planet as a precious ecosystem. That awareness, along with his professional understanding of LEED strategies to conserve and protect natural resources, helped him successfully guide and inspire the project team. It's a very human tendency, the way you are being brought up or the environment in which you grew up. And there were no you know, toys, so we used to have a lot of practicalness. And that was always linked with nature. The project uses ancient Indian Vastu architectural designs that optimize use of sun, air and water. These strategies, when supported by LEED guidelines, contribute greatly to building efficiency and healthy occupant comfort. The whole project is built on the principles of Vastu science, taking care of our Indian architecture and about people itself, connecting it with a proper understanding and analytic way and that's where LEED supports you. With its disciplined focus on nature, Suzlon One Earth became the first corporate campus in India to run entirely on renewable energy with a mix of 80% wind and 20% solar photovoltaic. Even greater efficiency was achieved through daylight harvesting. The placement of louvers, which act as a protective skin while allowing daylight and cross ventilation and a water-cooled HVAC system, which consumes 40% less energy than conventional models. Occupancy sensors at workstations further reduce energy costs by 20%. Water is conserved through low-flow and sensor-based fixtures, an on-site sewage treatment plant that recycles all grey water, and a rainwater harvesting tank with a 10 lakh litre capacity. Soil excavated during construction was reused for landscaping, which now covers 60% of the campus and contributes to improved air quality. An integrated building management system monitors energy and water use across the entire campus. Suzlon One Earth also received a LEED Innovation Credit for how it manages water flow. This project is a pipeless and a gutterless. So if you can just imagine a building which does not have any drains. They don't get an opportunity to even outshoot anything. So it sustains within it. With extensive sustainable urban developments and initiatives being advanced by the Indian government, projects like Suzlon One Earth set a remarkable example on how to blend traditional Indian architecture with contemporary building technologies. And LEED, with its rigorous parameters, will play a crucial role in fostering the kind of sustainable development that is essential to India's economic growth and its environmental protection. I think it's a beginning for our country. We need to see that we need to build all our infrastructures, all, all our human requirements on the principles of sustainability. And it has to be in a complete synergy with nature. And we should optimize all the resources to the best. To learn more, visit gbci.org slash India. Lead on.